Hi friends, welcome back to Making the Most with MG. Today I would like to share with you a social story called I Can Handle Angry. It's taken from Conscious Discipline and it's a great story to use when you have a little friend who is perhaps uh, when they're having big emotions or trying to problem solve, they're using their hands and they're hitting or shoving, pushing, instead of using their words to express their needs. So you can use this with an individual child or you can share it at circle time as a teaching tool for all children. So what I'd like to do is read the story and then at the end of the book, uh, Dr. Becky Bailey has given some uh, suggestions or uh, things to keep in mind when you are having a child who is experiencing uh, these types of behavior issues such as hitting pushing and just general not keeping their hands to themselves uh, so please enjoy the story and uh, stick with me till the end so that you can hear these wonderful tips that dr. Becky Bailey has and as always have a great day and stay safe I can handle angry I'm safe keep breathing I can handle this. When I feel angry, there is something that will always help me. That is breathing. Breathing helps me pause so I can calm myself. I will breathe deeply five times now for practice. When I want something, I can breathe briefly, then say, may I have a turn? But I may not hit, hitting hurts. If I want to walk by, I can say, excuse me, but I may not push, pushing hurts. If I want a friend's attention, I can tap them on their shoulder, say their name, and wait for them to look me in the eye, but I may not pull on their clothes, scream, grab, or hit. These actions bother others. If I feel angry because I didn't win, I can breathe deeply and say to myself, I can handle this but I may not hit. Hitting hurts. If I feel angry at someone, I can say, I feel angry. I was hoping to play longer, but I may not hit. Hitting hurts. If I feel angry, I can ask my teacher, my mom, dad, or another adult for help but I may not hit. Hitting hurts. These faces are saying, I don't like it. Please stop. I don't like it. Please go around me. I don't like it. Please give me some space. These faces are saying, I enjoy being with you. I am calm, breathe. I can handle this. I can handle my anger. Keep on breathing. Now I know what to do. The end. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, I just want to take a minute to go over with you, as it says at the top, how can we help Rafa, which is the name of the child in the story. So you need to remember how you are interacting with a child when they're experiencing this type of behavior. Remember to be close and to connect with the child. Because when a child is feeling rejected, it can trigger more aggression. 
all children, they want to feel loved, capable, accepted, seen and heard and valued. And this starts with you as the adult. So make sure that you are engaging in activities that require eye contact, touch, presence and playfulness. Also, practice breathing before a child is having a big feeling. This is something I say all the time. Practice regularly all the different ways that a child can take deep breaths so that when they need to, they will already have it in their toolbox. And another thing is reading this story to a child every day that is experiencing trouble with keeping their hands to themselves. You can read this story or you can even use this as a template and create your own story using pictures of the child that you're working with because there's nothing children love more than seeing pictures of themselves. So when you're reading the story with the child in question, use it as a tool as well to build that connection and that relationship. Make sure you're snuggling up close when you read it. And finally, remember when a child does something we don't like that we have to model the behavior we'd like to see in the child. So breathe when a child does something that makes you upset. And then you wanna give them the words if they don't have it. So point out what it is they wanted. You wanted to play with the dinosaur, okay? So you've pointed out what they wanted and make sure you set your limit. You wanted to play with the dinosaur. You may not hit, hitting hurts. And then the final piece is teaching them a skill. You wanted to play with the dinosaur. You may not hit, hitting hurts. When you want to play with the dinosaur, you can say, may I please play with the dinosaur? So you are giving them the tools, you're stating, what they did want, what they did that they shouldn't have done, and giving them a strategy for use in the future. As I said earlier, be careful of how you're feeling. Model your own behavior. If you don't want a child yelling, then you yelling is not the best strategy to get them to do what you'd like them to do. So uh, there's a, a quote about instead of joining in the chaos, bringing the calm. So when a child is feeling that frantic manic energy, um, you need to bring your calm to the situation to help diffuse it. And this last one, which I absolutely love, is for a child to behave differently, we have to see them differently. We have to look at behavior as perhaps a skill that is missing. When we think about social emotional development, if children have not learned the skills necessary to build strong relationships, to recognize emotions, to problem solve, we need to help them. We need to teach them just like we would if there were any other skill that is missing. So hopefully you found this helpful. And until next time, have a great day.